Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of fetal congenital limb deficiency. In this video, you will see the fetus having both the upper and lower limbs of reduced size. The pregnancy measure is about 33 weeks and you can see the placenta and the fetal head. Fetal ultrasound Ultrasonography is most important tool to provide prenatal diagnosis of fetal anomalies. The standard obstetric ultrasound examination includes documentation of arms and legs. A congenital limb defect is when an arm or leg doesn't form normally as a baby grows in the uterus. The exact cause of congenital limb deficiency is often not known. Certain things may increase the chances of child being born with such a defect. These include gene problems or exposure to some viruses or chemicals. Now you can see the fetal head and it looks eco normal. Both the eyes and nostrils are seen along with the lips which are eco normal. So this congenital limb deficiency, CLD, one of the most common congenital anomalies is characterized by hypoplasia or aplasia of one or more limbs, limb bones and can be isolated or syndromic. The etiology in CLD is heterogeneous including environmental and genetic factors. Now again you can see the face of the fetus. There are different limb development anomalies including polydactyly that is POD, abnormal hands position, AHP, limb reduction of uh, defects, LRD and arthrogryposis that is ART. Polydactyly is uh, supernumerary digits and is the most frequent congenital limb deformity. The prenatal de detection of such anomalies is important for, for prenatal education, counseling, initiating appropriate planning for postnatal evaluation and treatment and ruling out associated malformations which may alter the management of pregnancy. The cause of limb reduction defect is unknown. However, researchers has shown, research has shown that certain behavior or exposure during pregnancy can increase the risk of having a baby with a limb reduction defect. These includes exposure to mother or certain exposure of mother to certain chemicals or viruses while she is pregnant. But in this case, there is the fourth pregnancy with two female patients affected, one male child spared. This is a female fetus. So heredity seems to be involved in this case, as you are going to see in this video. Ultrasound can provide adequate evidence of fetal limb deformities evaluation in most patients. Fetal limb deformity causes cases showed a significantly higher rate and other and then the other congenital malformations for advanced maternal age that is at or more than 35 years old. If the mother is more than 35 years or of 30 years, you can see the spines of the fetus and they are, are eco normal.
Pocomelia is a rare condition that affects baby at birth. This condition causes the upper or lower limbs of the child to be underdeveloped or missing. Pocomelia can affect one or multiple limbs. This condition can be caused by a genetic syndrome or from exposure to specific drug during pregnancy. So limb buds are often seen by ultrasound at about eighth week of gestation. The upper limb buds of humeri are seen at eight weeks, one weeks before the femora. The tibia fabula and radius ulna from 10 weeks and digits of the hands and feet at 11 weeks. So there are um, four main causes of birth defects and these include smoking, smoking of the pregnant lady, drinking alcohol or taking certain drugs during pregnancy, having certain medical conditions such as being obese or having uncontrolled diabetes before and during pregnancy. Taking certain medicans, medicines such as isotretinoin, a drug used to treat severe acne, having someone in your family with a birth defect. Now, the standard nomenclature divides limb deficiencies into two basic types, longitudinal and transverse. Longitudinal deficiencies are along the long axis of the limbs and are distinguished into further subgroups, pre-axial, radial and tibial side, post-axial, ulnar and fibular side and axial that is central. Now you can see the femur length is far greater, far lesser than the approximating with the head circumference. It is very small for dates. The two most common congenital causes of congenital anomalies are single gene defect and chromosomal abnormalities. The for most birth defects we think there are they are caused by a complex mix of factors. These factors include a gene that is in information inherited from our parents and our behavior and things in the environment. How the, these limb reduction defect can be prevented. Although there are many causes of limb reduction, women who take folic acid during pregnancy have 30 to 40 percent reduced risk of having a child with the limb, de limb deformity. Lower limbs are affected lesser often than the upper limbs. So the three types of congenital disorders that can cause are chromosomal, uh, are orofacial collapse, neural tube defects, and limb deficiencies. Although there are many causes of limb reduction, women who take folic acid during pregnancy can be prevented, have a 30 to 40 percent reduced size of having a child with a limb deformity. Lower limbs are affected less often than the upper limb. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. In a day or two, I will upload a video again about the fetal anomalies. Thanks.